Hi, I'm Rob Simmons, Product Manager with Garrett Advancing Motion. The topic I'm going to present is turbo system optimization. While turbocharger selection is a critical part of your project, selecting the correct mating components is equally as important. Optimizing the entire system ensures that the engine will make the target horsepower and everything functions properly. What I hope you take away from this is not only a better understanding of turbo system components, but also where you can find this information for future use and projects. The areas that I'm going to cover are based on questions that we've received during trade shows and races, as well as areas I feel are commonly overlooked. So let's get started. For an oil drain, generally a dash 10 AN is sufficient, but try not to have an ID smaller than the drain hole in the housing. To ensure that the oil drains out of the center housing via gravity, the oil outlet flange, when installed on the vehicle on level ground, should be plus or minus 35 degrees. And as far as the axis of rotation, which is the tilt, you should make sure that this is parallel to the ground within plus or minus 15 degrees. And you should always try to avoid undulations in the line or extended lengths parallel to the ground, draining into the oil pan below oil level, deadheading into a component behind the oil pan, area behind the oil pan where oil could be slung from the crankshaft. And if all of these things cannot be accomplished, a scavenge pump should be used to ensure that the oil is evacuated out of the center housing. This concludes the video presentation. I hope you found this information helpful. As I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, this information is available on the Garrett Motion website, along with other general and technical information. Thank you for your time and good luck with your future turbo projects.